It's day six of our SCAR trip and day three in the Francis Marion National Forest. Well, good morning. It's early. It's early because at 645, all we heard was gunshots for a solid like 30 minutes because I guess we are in the middle of a very popular hunting area and like 645 was like the queue and everyone started just blasting. <laughs> it was kind of interesting. Also, last night, uh, it started pouring. We didn't realize it was going to rain. Uh, the last time we saw the forecast, it said no rain and uh, then we lost signal and uh, apparently the weather changed and we didn't know. So it poured last night and it is just a muddy, soaking wet mess. Everything is just wet. But just getting packed up and stuff in camp and just walking around is like walking through a mud bog. So that's it's gonna be a gross sloppy morning. But we're gonna make breakfast and coffee first. Beef's having Oreos and coffee for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Come on now. Well, despite the rain, it's another very successful breakfast sandwich. That's a good way to start the morning. It's a Matt McMuffin. It's a Matt McMuffin. I keep a forgetting McMatt. my no, trademark McMatt. here. McMatt. It's a McMatt. It's, it's a McMatt. Oh, God, it's so hot. I <laughs> 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 There goes my tongue. All right, we are basically packed up here, but I did want to note a couple of things. So this campsite was great, but there was a lot of trash here. Um, and it just, it kind of sucks that there was so much trash laying around. So we tried to clean up, we didn't get all of it, but we got about a whole contractor bag worth of trash that we're taking out of here that we've picked up, you know, beer bottles and glass bottles and paper and trash and all that kind of stuff. So. Uh, as my friend Kevin with High Point Overland would say, uh, tread lightly, leave no trace, give a hoot, don't pollute, leave it better than you found it. So anyway, those are some things that we're trying to do here, trying to leave a little bit better than we found it. It just sort of stinks that people don't care enough and they just leave crap everywhere. Like, like right here, here's a little bag that I missed the first go around. Someone's Doritos. So we'll throw that in the trash too. We headed out of camp looking to explore as much as we could on our last big day in the Francis Marion National Forest. The SCAR is also known as the South Carolina Adventure Route. It's about 1,100 miles of dirt, sand, gravel, and paved roads looping around South Carolina from the coast to the mountains. This section runs through the Francis Marion National Forest along the coast. It is named after General Francis Marion, a Revolutionary War hero also known as the Swamp Fox. So as you guessed, this area is mostly swamps, which makes for some pretty muddy roads when it rains. The first side trail we wanted to explore was an access road to a hunting area, but we had no idea it was going to present us with such a challenge so early in the day. The trail forked off and we weren't sure which way to go, so I put the drone in the air to do some reconnaissance. Yeah, I'm trying to scout it with the drone. The, um, to the right looks like it's going to head back to the road, but maybe we could keep going straight. Eventually it's probably going to do the same thing. Alright, I'm going to continue straight and then we'll see where this goes. Unfortunately, going forward was not the right answer. Uh, I'm not sure there is a forward anymore. I'm gonna have to get out and look at this. I'm not sure that this is something we can get through. So, this is what that trail just turned into. Just a mud pit and then nothing. So there's nowhere for us to go. So we're gonna have to figure out how to turn around. 
Hey Matt, let's uh, disconnect the trailer. I think it's gonna be a lot easier. So this trail that we're on is extremely tight. There's a ditch over here, a little bit of a clearing here. We're gonna try to push the trailer into this clearing. We're gonna unhook it from the Jeep and see if we can get the two of us turned around uh, a little bit and then, and then reattach the trailer to the Jeep and get us out of here. Oh boy. So much mud. It's like I'm covered in it. It's like and briars. This whole path is just laced with briars, and we're all stabbed and poked and it hurts. Ugh, gross. All right, I gotta figure out how to turn the jeep around now. There you go. A couple feet. Keep going. A little more. So the other vehicles have decided not to try to turn around. They're gonna try to back out from all this, so hopefully that works out, but obviously backing out with the trailer was gonna be complicated, so we flipped me around. So, now it's time to drive out of here. Action, adventure, a Jedi craves not these things, but an Overlander does. After getting turned around, we took the trail we knew led back to the main road. We spent the next few hours exploring the trails along the Scar, looking for adventure and marking possible campsites for the future. Eventually, it was time to head out. We only had a few miles left on this section of the scar, but we had no idea that Frances Marion had one last trick up her sleeve, and she wasn't letting us go easily. It's hard to tell from here, but up ahead of me looks like it gets really gross. Well, we've just come up to probably the sketchiest, gnarliest, muddiest section of road we've seen the entire trip. Looks like we've come across what might be our final obstacle it's pretty soupy. Matt, you going first? I'm going first. We're going to, uh, we're gonna, that looks pretty, dude. Yeah. That's pretty aggressive. I'm going first. I'm always the guinea pig. Here we go. Did you enjoy yourself, Brian? Not bad, not bad. He had a good time. Pretty epic trip. It was good, it was fun. But yeah, we are, <laughs> yeah, everything is just absolutely plastered in mud. <laughs> All right, well, we have reached the end of the off-road segment of the SCAR for the Francis Marion National Forest. We have one more spot that we just have to see while we're in this area. So 
we're going to air up and we're going to hit that and that's pretty much going to do it for this section of the scar but I'm really excited about what we're about to see. All right, we are here and I'm really excited. We are at the grave site of Francis Marion, which is what the forest is named after. But Francis Marion was a revolutionary war hero, uh, also known as the Swamp Fox. And if you have seen Mel Gibson's movie, The Patriot, he played Francis Marion, the Swamp Fox. Uh, all kinds of stuff in South Carolina is named after him. And so it's really, we wanted to, we were close and we wanted to make sure that we, uh, we got to see some extra history around South Carolina as we did this tour. So really excited to kind of be here and just check this spot out. It's really out of the way and kind of secluded and I'm a little surprised that there's not some more monumentous kinds of stuff here, but uh, yeah, super cool, I'll show you around. So the thing that really made Francis Marion or the Swamp Fox famous was he sort of revolutionized guerrilla warfare tactics during the Revolutionary War. So historically what would happen is the the British would come in and they would go hide in the, the swamps and stuff and then they would attack far superior forces just out of nowhere throughout the woods, run and gun, you know, shoot behind trees, disappear, all that kind of stuff. And he was just decimating the British forces that were in this area with a very small force and uh, driving the British crazy. All right, so this is the point where uh, we are parting ways. I'm gonna head back up towards Columbia. Beeb's gonna head back down towards Bluffton. You had a good trip? It was awesome. Again, Brian, thanks so much for coming with us. Yeah, man. We had a blast, Stay it was ahead. great. After parting ways, my assumption was that I would be traveling mostly rural paved roads back towards Columbia. I had no idea that most of this leg was actually dirt. So I totally assumed that the drive home was going to be really basically fast and paved rural back roads. And I was wrong. So most of this is still dirt or hard packed sand. Um, it's not been anything overly technical, but it has not been paved roads. So my speed has not been that great. Like right now I'm doing 40 but we're on a, um, you know, just a dirt road. And it's beautiful though, absolutely beautiful. Like I really want to take this section again when I have more time to kind of explore and, and just take it in better. Uh, I really feel like I kind of cheated myself trying to do this section with the, the Francis Marion section the way we did all in one day. But um, anyway, it's a really, well, that was a little soft sand there. <laughs> uh, it haven't been in four-wheel drive or anything like that, just two-wheel drive. It's been a lot of fun, but it's taken me a lot longer to get home than I imagined it would. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps out the channel a lot. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing so you can keep up with more adventures as we travel the SCAR and beyond. Until next time, God bless, and we'll see you on the trails. All right, I made it home, and I'm just looking at the trailer, and it is just caked in mud. It's gonna take me forever to, to clean this thing off and pressure wash it, but anyway, had an absolute blast. We'll see you later. Mm -hmm.